going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of SDG, Wednesday in the workshop. So today I got something special for you. We are going to get scientific and do a little experiment. What a fun video it would be to use all three of those materials on the various materials to use all three materials on some thread, try to keep as many of those um, variables the same, and just compare. So if you've never seen what super glue does to bucktail or to rabbit zonkers, um, if you've never seen what Sally Hansen does to, um, to rubber or to silicone, and then what does it look like when this loon um, head cement dries on all of that material? How does, it, how does it fare? So that's what we're gonna to do today. We're also going to do a dry time test. I'm going to move through three jig heads that have 25 wraps of thread and five whip finishes on them. We're gonna time how long does it take for the super glue to dry, um, how long does it take for the Sally Hansen's to dry, and how long does it take for the uh, head cement to dry. And throughout that, we're also going to test um, the sticky factor. So if something happens while you're finishing your jig and some of that material gets onto those threads, is it gonna stick, is it gonna cause problems, especially like bucktail or something like that, um, could be a real mess. So I'm gonna change the camera angle, I'll show you our setup here, and then we'll move through this and see what we see at the end. Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. That's what I have set up. We've got some green round rubber. We've got some dark watermelon silicone. We've got a dark green strip of um, rabbit fur, rabbit zonker. And we've got a bundle here of olive bucktail. All the way to the side, we've got three jig heads tied up. Each one of those has 25 wraps of thread and five whip finishes using white thread. 210 denier, flat wax nylon, just as we normally do. So I'm gonna to move to the left here, so you're gonna see my hands come in just on the side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put some um, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, right across the top. Then we'll do Sally Hansen's right across the middle. And then we'll do the Loon water-based head cement right across the bottom. We'll let those go, because what we're looking for on these, how does it affect the material? That's what we're looking for. Then we'll turn our attention to the jig heads, and um, I'll get a clock out, a stopwatch, and I'll put the um, same stuff, super glue here, Sally Hansen's, and then uh, water-based loon head cement on the last one and we'll time and see how uh, long it takes for those threads to dry and how sticky they are during the curing process. So without any further ado, let's get going. Let those dry and we'll turn our attention to this guy here. I need to get another stopwatch and we'll see about dry time and stickiness in the midst of uh, drying. Okay, so um, because I can't put these all on at exactly the same time because I only have two hands, um, what we're going to do, what I decided to do, I'm going to put this glue on, I'm going to hit the, the go time, I'm going to put the glue on and then I'll look to see what the timer is when I finish. And I'm gonna write that down on a, in a notebook so I know when that one starts. 
and then I'll go to this one, same, same way, whenever I finish it, I'll write that down, same way with this one, I'll write that down, and then it's just a matter of letting this time go until all three are finished and subtracting off the uh, start time. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully I'm thinking about this in the right way. So let's go ahead and start the clock and paint our first one. Twenty-five seconds. So twenty-five is down for the glue. Now for Sally Hansen's. All right, fifty-eight seconds. So I'll write that down. And our last one. One minute, 30. So, one minute, 30. All right, so now we'll let this go until all three are dry. We'll also check in in about, I'm gonna say two minutes and 30 seconds, and we'll touch each one and see what the sticky factor is. Okay, so. This one started at 25, it's now 235, so this one's been on there for two minutes, 10 seconds. Oh yeah, still sticky to the touch, you can see it glistening off of my finger. If you were to cut silicone right now, or rubber, come back and it would, see that right there? It would totally stick and make a mess. Let's see about this one. So this one was at 58, right here, two minutes. Oh yeah, still there. You can see the glisten right there. Not as sticky, more wet than sticky. It rubs off my fingers really easily, so that's not bad. Definitely still wet though. So our last one was one minute 30, so we'll give it till 3.30, so we touch each one in about two minutes. So this one's been going now for two minutes Still wet, right there, you can see it glistening. Not quite there, but the sticky factor is non-existent. I mean, it just right off. So I'll let it keep going. All right, here we go. So this one is now four minutes in. Definitely drier, but still extremely sticky. My fingers are sticking together, not a big surprise, it is super glue. We'll wait till 4.58 on this one for a four minute check-in. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna use different fingers this time. This one's not too bad. Oh, there's still a little stickiness right there, but it wasn't really bad sticky to begin with, so definitely better super uh, than super glue. Here we go. Little dab there. It's not quite dry, but it's just about, and again, like zero, zero stickiness. All right, one more at 625. That will be six minutes on this guy, and we'll go six minutes across. Okay, I'm gonna try my other hand now. Still sticky, you can still, there's glistening. Right there, I can see it. I don't think the camera's picking that up. And it, my finger about stuck to it right there. So this one's definitely not ready yet. That's six minutes, over six minutes in. At 6.58, we'll check Sally Hansen. Okay. I would say this one is done. So six minutes on Sally Hansen, no problem. All right. Yep, this one also dry. Very nice. 
Very good. Okay. Yeah, I can even feel it. It's it's like, yeah, it is. It's just, I mean, my fingers are just barely sticking. I would consider this dry. Certainly enough where the material is not going to get stuck on it. All right, so there you go. Eight minutes is a pretty good estimate. Very interesting. So before we get done here, go ahead and stop this. The other item I wanted to do was come back through with a, bo with a bodkin and just test the durability of each one of these. Sorry, I kicked you guys. So poke it. I would expect this to be really strong, obviously, with the with the glue. Yeah, does not disappoint. Super glue definitely works. Sally Hansen's. You can feel it's softer, but still not doesn't have that hard crusty outside layer like the super glue does but I'm not poking through I mean this feels like it's sealed as you would expect and now for our water-based head cement that's a good seal right there kind of scrape down on it I do feel more I feel like the tip of the bodkin maybe penetrates just a hair more than Sally Hansen's I mean but it's I'm like really trying to feel and I'm certainly not picking out any right there I mean it just rolls right over it it's not getting us it's not picking out a thread yeah definitely a win in my book okay we are back to where we started as we worked with those jig heads these had more than enough time to uh, dry and let's take a look so at the top again is our glue Sally Hansen is in the middle loon uh, head cement in the bottom or at the bottom so starting here, I'm going to go to the left-hand side once again. Starting here at the top, looking at the rubber. So this is the glue. It's not flaking off. All right. It's very effective. This is the Sally Hansen's. Now this is this is very interesting. See how shiny it is? Watch here. See that right there it essentially peels right off you guys see that I'm peeling it right off with the bodkin it just does not work with this material this Sally Hansen's is not the ticket when using rubber and I think we'll probably see something similar although I think it's most clear right here this um, synthetic material right round rubber silicone whatever it's just not good and I can just peel it right off so how about this one this is our head cement if I really really rub on it I'm seeing it come off yeah, I mean, I'm having to dig at it to get it off. And it actually goes through, it goes through the rubber before I can get it off. So, from a round rubber perspective, Sally Hansen's definitely a no-go. I think the, uh, the Loon, certainly viable, not the strongest seal, but definitely giving up a good fight. The rubber, or I mean the uh, the glue. I mean, I can barely, I can't even pull that apart, right? But that's to be expected. It's super glue, right? 
so again it comes down to this would do a, a good enough job to keep it secure this absolutely would not this would do the most secure job so how fast do you want to move through production if you want to cut this while it's drying remember this took eight minutes right eight minutes to dry which means you've got to hang your jig up for eight minutes before you can go back through and cut all of these with this water-based um, solution right the water-based head cement it wasn't sticky from the get-go so I could have come in could have separated all these let them bounce back hit that head cement without any worry that it was going to fold back on itself then get stuck and have glue all over the tip as well as um, the thread. This water-based head cement appears to allow you to work with the material while it's drying without the, the danger of that sticky factor grabbing a hold of anything. So let's go to the silicone. So the top is our glue. Yeah, I mean, disaster, right? You get glue on silicone. It's still sticky to my fingers. I mean, look at that. Inside, it's just a, a nasty mess. This is what you don't want to see and why, again, I know I'm, I'm harping on this, but why you've got to let it sit and dry, you know, 10, 15 minutes before you can safely go in and really start working with it. Um, so this is the middle. This is Sally Hansen's. Same thing. I mean, I can take this and just see that. I scraped it right off. See that? It just comes right off. Just You can't use it on this material. And then the other was down here at the bottom. And I'm not seeing it. If you get a little bit on the silicone around the edges of the of the thread as you're putting it on and finishing the jig is it going to create a a weird um, caking layer or is it going to is it going to look bad no it disappears it all but disappears i mean i can't even tell where i put it on so i'd say that that's a win again not an issue or not not an option on the sally hansons this is a messy disaster with the glue up on top. Got to wait until it's all dry. The head cement down at the bottom looks like your best bet on silicone. Well, oh boy, wasted fur. <laughs> all for the the uh, the good of science, I guess. Yeah, I mean that's still wet, still nasty obviously not an option so this is the Sally Hansen's let me see if this fluffs back up not bad it's still kind of chalky kind of chunky not ideal you can see it's still kind of wanting to hold together there I'll keep my hands in frame here sorry yeah not ideal not not nearly this <laughs> but not ideal and then down at the bottom so let me rough this up I'm guessing that this will because it's water based once this is roughed up just like once it comes out of the water and dries yeah it's not perfect I mean to be fair it's not that bad it's certainly not that bad but it's you know it's not perfect but it's fishable the more I work with it here just talking, the better it is. So, not too shabby. And that's expected. It's water-based. And then the last one, probably a lot of the same. Yeah, see the bucktail is just stuck together. I mean, it's a clump. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's breaking apart before I can get it apart. Right here was the Sally Hansen's little clumpy little little matted certainly not that right that's nasty and then down at the bottom by this other one bringing my head down a little close yeah I can't even tell where where it was on so certainly 
the loon is the winner on this one. Um, if this was down where your threads were and you got a little bit on the bucktail, it's drying pretty fast and really didn't even know it was there. So, good stuff. Okay, wow. What a process. Uh, this has been fun to do. So, I hope you guys got a feel for how those different thread sealants can work. Um, I'll be the first to say, all three of them are completely valid. Um, all three of them will do you a great job. You just need to know what you're getting into and depending on um, how thick of a finish you're after, how much time you have to wait for things to dry. It just, it's a, it's a matter of your, um, your style, it's a matter of your production volume, it's a matter of a lot of things. Anyway, if you like what you see here, um, we've got more Wednesdays at the workshop, you can check out that playlist. If you'd like to see more jig tying or lure creation type videos, you can click on this video right here. If you're curious why we call the channel what we call it, then click on this video right here. Otherwise, until the next time, I'll see you guys at the Vice.